what's going on guys we have got a doctor who endings if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that sub button and let's get into the video why did you do that oh i always rip out the last page of a book yeah and it doesn't have to end i hate endings shut up i knew i didn't have my headphones on together kind of sort of no. i'm not at all what the hell are you doing changing the future you just changed the future it's called marriage honey it's called marriage. But I suppose you knew it was time. Time to come to the library. Time could be rewritten. Don't you dare. Time can be rewritten. Not those times. Not one line. Don't you dare. Time can be rewritten. But once you've read it. No! When I last stood on this beach on the worst day of my life, what was the last thing you said to me? Does it need saying? Fuck me, David Tenton's gotten old. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am a very large Doctor Who fan. I am actually re-watching Doctor Who, uh, the, uh, fuck knows which one. But I quite enjoy it. David Tennant has put on some fucking age, though. He old as fuck now. You're leaving, aren't you? Why now? Because you're still breathing. Because if I hadn't, I'd have buried you a long time ago. No, you wouldn't. Everyone gets stuck somewhere eventually. After everything we've been through, Doctor. Why do you keep coming back for us? Because you were the first. The first face this face saw. She said you were the saviour of worlds once. Just save someone. I was gonna be with you. Forever. Okay, now if you guys have been on the channel at all for, I don't know, probably like the last month, you'd have seen there's been a few sad reactions. I was not expecting this to be sad. To be quite honest, I was expecting this to be, you know, the funny parts of the Doctor Who. I hate sad edits. I don't know why, they just, they're hard to react to, they irritate me, and fucking life is great. Why do we need to put sad shit on the internet? Fuck me. Travelling in the Todd, the Doctor Donna. I don't think I could ever forget you. Please, please don't let me go back. But we had the best of times. The best. What's the alternative? I'd like to be more over your grave. <laughs> over your broken body, over Rory's body. And the times we had, eh? The Doctor and Amy Paul. Am I wrong? Would you not like to be immortal? Being immortal sounds fucking wicked. Do you know what? People say, yeah, but what about when the universe ends? Who cares, man? Another one always gets free fucking made. Where there is creation, there's got to be destruction and then vice versa. So... Theoretically, the universe, when it, if, if it eventually blows up or whatever the fuck happens at the end of the universe, who the hell knows? Surely the fuck there's another universe that gets remade. So, you'd have a billion, billion years, well, well I don't know how long the universe will be, but say, four billion years from now, you'll have four billion years of memory in your mind. You just sit there and replay it like, I could sit here for an hour just thinking about things that I've done. In my very short lifetime, imagine if you had a billion years to fucking go back through. You could kill a very, very long time in your head. Bye, bye, bye. We're the only two left. Every star in the universe has no one else. Well, we're going to see them all. We're doing right! No! Just promise me one thing. Yeah? Just promise you won't get me killed. Broken, man! Goodbye, Tom. Goodbye. I hate the waving angels. Today, I am 20 years of age. I am still scared of the waving angels. That shit came out when I was like five. To date, I'm still scared of them. The last page. Hello, old friend. I'm a fucking grown man. And I'm scared of the waving angels out of Doctor Who. Do you know how lame that is? And here we are. You and me. On the last page. Sometimes I do worry about you, though. And you might be alone. Don't travel alone. Travel with me, then. Don't be alone, Doctor. Whenever and wherever you want. You and me. Time and space. You watch us run. You gonna be all right? Always, yeah. You all right? I'm always all right. Are you okay? Of course I'm okay. You? Of course. You all right? I'm all right. I know I went too far. I went too far. Everything's got to end some 
Otherwise, nothing would ever get stuck. Is it a sad song? I think sad till it's over. Then everything is. Is it time? It's time. Things end. That's all. But times change. Is this it? And so must I. My death. I could do so much more. So much more. No. But this is what I get. Whatever I do. My reward. It's not fair. But it's not fair. You still want me to. And above all else, I could have lost you both. Know that we will love you always. Everything ends. Everything ends. Except you. You don't. I reckon the Doctor would have one hell of a dummy spit on him, don't you? You imagine that, man? Especially when he's the angry old Scotsman. Fuck me. The Scottish can lose their temper. Like endings. Goodbye, Clara. You know why we run, Doctor? I'm running to you and Rory before you fade for me. That was all sad. That was okay. It all started in the end. But everything begins again, too. Rob! Hello? Ah, oh, hello! You might fancy a trip. Or into space. Uh, come with me. This is the day! Everything begins! And that's always happy. Oh, new regeneration cycle. Ooh. What's your name? That is great. Amelia Pond. Amelia Pond. Like a name in a fairy tale. If you ever see... A little blue box flying up there in the sky. You shout for me, Gramps. Look him! Yeah! You act like such a lonely man. <laughs> but look at you. You've got the biggest family on Earth. Off we go into time and space. Those were the days. Raggedy man. She's so hot. Fuck. I've I got to think before I speak sometimes, though. Eh? Alright, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that sub button. The 11th hour's links in the... Ben, speak, please. Thank you. The 11th hour's links in the description as per always. Make sure you go check them out. And before we go any further, hit that fucking sub button. And I will see you all in the next one. Ah, uh, Peace.